Unit 11, News Watch, October 21st. Atomo Coffee promises a hot cup of Joe without the beans. People around the world enjoy starting their day with a cup of coffee, but it's not the greenest drink in the world. Sadly, coffee growing often has negative impacts on the environment. Atomo Coffee, a startup in Seattle, U.S., is working to lighten that load by creating completely beanless coffee. The exact process of how it's made is still a secret for now. But co founders Jarrett Stopforth and Andy Kleitsch promise that Atomo is sustainable and uses ingredients like sunflower seed husks and watermelon seeds. In a taste test, Most participants actually preferred the flavor of Atomo over Starbucks, a possible competitor. Touting that success, and with millions of dollars of funding behind them, Stopforth and Kleitsch have committed to bringing their environmentally friendly coffee to American markets in 2021. Additionally, they claim they'll be able to tweak the process to produce drinks with different flavor characteristics. Lovers of fine coffee, Will be able to replace their high end roasted beans with something greener that still fits their preferences. Stopforth and Kleitsch aim to sell a Tomo at a price that's competitive with regular coffee. Using AI to model and plan for disasters. Living in Taiwan unfortunately means getting used to two major natural risks typhoons and earthquakes. A tool that might prove useful for places like Taiwan was recently created by scientists at the University of California, Berkeley. It's a computer program that can predict how a building will fare during a serious disaster. Named Braille's Building Recognition Using AI at Large Scale, it works for earthquakes, storms, and tsunamis. Brails creates a digital portrait of a building using a wide range of data, including satellite images from Google Maps. Once it's created this computerized mock building, it can simulate the effects of a disaster on the building. It can also predict what kind of damage it will receive and how severe it will be. To assess the model, the researchers created simulations of historical disasters. And compared their tools' outcomes to the actual records. They proudly claimed 90 to 100% accuracy for Brailles based on such tests. Their intention is for it to be used to help city planners and rescue workers in places affected by disasters, so it's possible the system will see use in Taiwan. <laughs>